All right, West Coast Swing fans, so what is the secret to musicality? What is the thing that all of the advanced dancers do to make the music come alive when they dance? It's a concept called counting straight eights. Now, in the previous two videos, we talked about counting our patterns, and we talked about the critical beats within the patterns to help us stay on time as we level up our patterns. But now we have to reconnect those to the music in a more advanced way. So we need to master a skill called counting straight eights. So if we think about music, music goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then it starts again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in most songs. So if we look at our push and our pass, or our push and our whip from the previous two videos, and we counted straight, if we counted the patterns, it would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we count the whip, starting with the one, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's great, and we're staying on time, and that's fantastic. You're gonna enjoy some great social dances, but to really connect it to the music, we have to start counting the music, all eight beats of the music. So if we counted the eight beats of the music, our push and our whip would look like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, four, five and six. Now at this point, you're already counting the music, the patterns well from the previous videos. You are mastering your timing of two, four, six, and eight, but now we have to start practicing counting straight eights while we dance. So here's the drill I want you to do. Simply sugar pushes, counting straight eights. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Walk seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Walk five, six, seven and eight, one and two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight. So I want you to practice that, counting straight eights just using your sugar push. Now there's a concept we talk about in our ultimate guide to musicality. If you wanna get on the wait list, we're gonna be launching that soon. You can grab the link here or in the description below. But there's a concept that we talk about where numbers leave numbers, meaning we have to practice these concepts of counting our patterns, counting the critical timing, and counting straight eights, and eventually, it just goes away to where you can accent the music. And that's exactly what we cover in the Ultimate Guide to Musicality. We cover not only how to find the beat in the music, how to stay on time as your patterns level up, but we talk about counting straight eights in detail. We also talk about the critical accents in the music, or one, three, five, seven, and we give you things that you can do to those accents based off of patterns you already know. So if you wanna get in the action for that, we'll be launching that soon. You can hop on the wait list up here in the corner or in the description below. Head on over, do that, and we'll see you on the other side.